Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're back here on Forza Horizon 5. We have an S15 here that we're going to be doing a build on. And then we're going to be hitting up some FD tracks. We're going to be doing a build on it very similar to my ESDA Pro Car from last season. So let's get into building it. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the description box below. So like I said, we're going to build this close to my car that i was using in esda of course with that being said we immediately have to go and do an engine change because we need to throw a v8 in here so we need to put in a v8 if we can there it is 6.2 liter v8 we're gonna throw in there and we did have a turbo on it so we're going to put twins on it because, well, we don't have singles. So we're going to go twin. But now we need to uh, up the power and everything. we got to make this car sound decent. I mean, I'll take that. Go racing. I need to find out exactly how much power I'm actually at. Because I want to get it close to the power that I was in on my pro car. So where are we at right now on power? Of course it won't tell me right away. But let's put all the other parts that we need and know we need on the car. We need drift suspension. And we're going to do full sways. Front and rear. Full cage. Make this thing as light as possible. And we gotta go drivetrain. We gotta install all the goodies. I think we're gonna do a race transmission in it. Carbon drive shaft. And then of course we gotta find the drift diff. And then styling aspect. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get anything really super close to the super doof that we did have but we'll uh go pull i think we'll throw the top secret one on we were running uh no wing on that car so we're not gonna put a wing on it i think we're just gonna run the full top secret kit for right now and now we need to put i think we're actually gonna put the semi-slick forza tires on just because of the sheer fact of I think we're running two yeah we're gonna put 275 on sheer fact of grip and now we're going to find some wheels that were close to what we were rocking we were rocking five spoke splits I don't think we're actually gonna find you're not gonna believe this Wait, what? you've earned a gift drop from another driver Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? I got a gift drop? Meet me down there and we'll have a look. I mean, we're gonna take a look at that um, before we continue this episode. We're actually gonna just throw... Trying to find rims that were similar. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna find anything super close. But I do want to find something that is halfway decent looking. We'll throw those on. Those are those are pretty close. Uh, we're going to increase them to 18s. 18s. And we're going to go as wide as we can in the front. And we're going to have to uh, poke out the rear a little bit. Man, that's, that's close to Fender. We're going to have to raise that ride height for sure. So, we're going to install this setup. Where are we at? 702. All right, so we need to add some more power. We need to get up to about a thousand, so that'd be a seven hundred. Nowhere near a thousand yet. I want some displacement. Throw that on there, and I think we're gonna just bump up one set of turbo. No, we're just gonna go two. Two twins. We're gonna see what a full horsepower aspect is on this car because we were over a thousand in our ESDA install setup 
1,017, that's actually close. I think we were at 1,012 on our actual pro car. So that is very close. So we're going to install that. Then we're going to go into tuning of it. All right, so before we go full send on this car, we're going to do a base tune. And like I said, we're going to try and tune this close to how we had the car tuned in a set out. And we're going to see if this actually works. Gearing, I'm not going to mess with too much. I'm going to dial this back. And it's going to be weird because we're actually going to go positive camber. But we were running positive camber in the car. I want to see how this actually works in here in Horizon. And see if this actually works with us or against us. So we're going to go tune this this way. And we're going to go 80-80. And we're going to do all that. We're going to save this setting. Yes, we're going to save that. And then we are going to go check out the map and go find that gift car. Wherever it is. Found it. You've received a new gift. So we're going to dr take this car on its first maiden voyage to find this gift. When it is safe to do so. And then we will go check out some FD tracks in this car. In 200 yards, turn left. Oh, I wonder how this is actually going to feel. With the positive camber in the back. Car has so much power. Oh, it's only missed that. But we parked right by the Christmas tree. So a quick tune on this car, and we're going to go get to this gift and see what we got from somebody here in Horizon. My first actual gift car in this game so far. So overall, the feel of... The tune is actually not terrible. You're gonna need to mess with the braking a little bit better. It gets very loose when you're at full lock, and I think that just has to do with the suspension, possibly. But it actually doesn't feel too bad. I thought it was gonna feel very weird running positive camber. But it actually oh, this thing just is lighting these semi slicks up though. Probably do this in six, ready? Oh man. I'm not turning around. We going on the highway. Going across the bridge. So, definitely been enjoying... We're topping out. At 197. Definitely been enjoying Horizon. Like I said, first gift car. Haven't been on here in a minute. So now we got a new gift car. We're going to lose it. Car gets really squirrely. It's fine. Six gear, 150 miles an hour. Sideways through the tunnel. We're going to see how this works coming through here. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna go full send. Oh, we're in the trees. No! Oh, save it. So we're gonna go take a look at this gift cart and then we're gonna go take a look at some FD tracks because, well, uh, that's what we're gonna do with this car and see how this car reacts. In 200 yards, turn sharp right. Oh, I thought we were gonna submerge our car. Like somebody else may have gotten a gift card because there's somebody else parked over here. So if you guys have gotten gift cards, let me know down in the comments what you guys have gotten for gift cards. They like said this is my first gift card, so I'm very curious what it's gonna be. First gift card here in Horizon 5. That F15 looks pretty dope. 
Wow, that's generous. Well, just the spirit of Horizon, isn't it? Shall we send a thank you? Well, yeah, I'm going to send a thank you, but we're going to find out what's in here first. Oh! It's an Evo. Well, uh, you know we're going to be doing a drift build like we had in Horizon with one of these Evos. And uh, definitely send a nice thank you message for that, for the first car given to me on this one. So now, let's go take you know a what look. They say. Hey, what? Barn finders, barn keepers. Enjoy that ride. So we're gonna enter that share code in right down there, and it's going to be FD Texas. Now you guys know I've been checking FD Texas out, or a lot of these FD tracks out. It's by the same creator, so we're gonna go full send on this in Someone solo. You to have it. And we're gonna take the S15 out. And we're going to see what happens with this S15 in this current setup. And then we will see if we need to do a different tweaking. So FD Texas, definitely a fun track. So this is a 2019 layout. We have our twin turbo V8 S15, and we're gonna go see if we can tackle Texas. I'm assuming it's inside, where most of them are. I've had a lot of great tracks that I've tested before, so I can expect this one to be just as good. I feel like this car could drift this whole outer bank section without a problem. The way this power is. Oh, I like it. I see what he's got going on there. He's got the wall and everything. So let's go drift. That's talky. Try and get to the start line here. Just probably over there. Yep, that was. Should have just worked our way in from where we were the first spot. Oh, a little wall tap. We're good. So, FD Texas 2019 layout here in a set of courts. Uh, D Texas 2019 here in Horizon 5 in the V8 S15. Let's go. Oh, all right. Did not expect it to cut back that hard. Yep, this car setup is not right. So that tune is not going to work. Unless we just need to actually, like, get it checked a little bit better. Yeah, this tune is not going to work the greatest. We may have to come back to this with an actual FD car. Because we may have to retune this car. This gear kick. All right, that's better. All right, we got it now. Oh, we would have been in the tire barrier. We would have been in the tire barrier with this. Now, I wish we could actually like tune the car, but unfortunately they will not let you tune it and we can't change cars. So we're going to quit the event after we run one more time, we'll switch to that D car. We're gonna take a look at a couple more tracks for today's episode and see if we can find any other hidden gems here on the event labs. Oh, taking out the clips. So I don't think a positive camber is the right choice here in Horizon. So we're gonna go try a different car. So let's quit event. We're going to do this simply as going event labs, event blueprints. We're going to search and we're just going to search 
title of FD. We want to see what we find with that and see what we got. We got FD Long Beach with a huge, huge amount of people liking that one. FD Irwindale, which we haven't driven on in Irwindale yet. So we're going to go take a look at Irwindale because we drove over with W. We didn't get a chance to drive an Irwindale track. So we are going to bring out a FD car. And I'm feeling, feel like bringing out Osmos A90 again. Frederick Osmos A90 here on Friends of Pipe. We're going to be taking on Irwindale. We're going to see what this Irwindale track is like. So if you guys like this, you guys want to keep seeing more, let me know. Go down in the comment section down below. Let me know in the comments as well as like and subscribe. I would appreciate the support. I see a big... Big thing. So don't go through those. If you go through those, it will end the race. Don't do that. We did that once. But we gotta go around them to get into here, so we don't wanna go through them though. That's where we wanna be. Okay. I like how they got that giant wall. Like, around it. So, FD Irwindale here on Horizon. Let's see what it's all about. If we can don't stall the car on the line. That's a very basic pattern. I do like where the concept is. I really wish it was a little more polish with some more better lines and stuff like that but we had to take a look at it we're gonna be trying a bunch of these random ones if you guys have any good tracks here on fd that you guys want to see on horizon 5 good fd tracks let me know down in the comments or any good tracks in general let me know down in the comment section down below give me that share code i'll take a look at them so that's gonna do it for this episode here on forza horizon 5 i hope you guys enjoyed this episode as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track